When I was younger, I was always really active and had an extremely competitive streak. So throughout my entire childhood, I was in sports. I started soccer and gymnastics when I was really young and I was really proud of what I was able to do. Uh, so much so that one year when my parents took me to go see Santa for Christmas, I decided I was gonna show him what I had learned to do that year. True story. And I loved soccer so much. I played for about seven or eight years, but I stopped playing in middle school. And from then on, besides maybe an occasional run, I didn't really have any physically active hobbies at all. But then this year, my dad and my brother Kaimani have made it a goal to get into shape. So we converted me and my siblings' old room in our tiny home into a full on home gym. And I don't know how to use any of this gym equipment. And at this point, it's been literal years since I worked out. I mean, I went from being in gymnastics to... I can't touch my toes. <laughs> yeah, no. So inspired by my dad and brother, I am challenging myself to get back into shape so I can feel strong and more healthy again. It has been such a long time since I have gone running. Since I'm just getting back into it, I don't want to push myself too hard. So I'm going to just go at a regular jogging pace for at least a mile and then see how I feel after that. I definitely feel a little tired. speed up a little bit. Once I made it to 1.5 miles, I got really tired. So to finish the rest of this mile, I'm just going to speed walk. Oh yeah, feel the burn. So two miles. I did really well that first mile, so I'm happy for that. I would like to get it up to where I'm able to comfortably run a 5k. For tomorrow, I'm going to try to tackle some new things. And I think I'm gonna need some help. So day two, I brought in my brother Kamani. He's kind of gonna be like my personal trainer for this. Okay, how's your upper body strength? Um, bad. How's your lower body strength? Better than my upper body strength. Then we will start with that. <laughs> Picture your shoulders going into your, like, your feet. <laughs> that makes sense. It's gonna touch the ground. It's gonna touch the ground? Yeah, then you gotta come back up as fast as you can. As fast as you can? If you control the weight or the weight controls you. The weight controls me at this point. <laughs> I didn't hear a tap. <laughs> tap. <laughs> so at this point, I'm starting to learn just how out of shape I am. And I realize I have so far to go and it's gonna take so much work before I'm where I wanna be. And every time the workouts start to feel easier, Kaimani pushes it a step further. Oh, that's significantly bigger than this one. Two. <laughs> okay. Let's try to come up faster. Okay. Oh, I just feel like they're made of jello. <laughs> you did a really good job. You know there's a mirror right there, right? I can see you. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even handle a little more? I think I can. Okay, you're doing great. All right, how do your legs feel? Tired, but overall pretty good. Well, that concludes your leg day. <laughs> good job. It's cold out here and really windy. So Kamani has kind of taken over from this point. It's changed up all my plans. I was planning on just working out in the gym, sticking to the inside where it's warm, but he's decided to make it as challenging for me as he possibly can. <laughs> it's so cold. All right, two miles. <laughs> I'm cold, it's windy, it's muddy. All I wanna do right now is go inside, but even when every part of me just wants to quit, I have to remind myself to just keep pushing, one foot after the other. All right, halfway there, how you feel? Pretty good. One more mile. I'm starting to feel 
feel a little tired now. My horse is probably thinking I'm insane. She's definitely more tired. <laughs> One more lap. Oh my gosh. So close. So close. And two miles. Oh my How gosh. do you feel? So significantly more difficult than two miles on the treadmill. That's the point. <laughs> you did it though. I did it though. It feels good. Since I decided I need to make my health a priority this year, I realized I really need to focus on improving my diet. So when I found out I was gluten intolerant, I decided I was gonna try to learn how to cook because let's face it, I can't live off of rice cakes forever. But luckily I found Green Chef and Green Chef makes it super easy by taking all of the hassle out of meal planning, grocery shopping, and do most of the prep for me. I seriously cannot believe the quality of these ingredients. I mean, everything looks so great and fresh. And how convenient is it that everything ships right to your door because let's be real here, nobody likes grocery shopping. And I can't drive. I've been trying to eat as clean as possible, and Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that offers options for every lifestyle, whether it's keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or if you're like me, gluten free. So tonight I'm making Peruvian spice bear mundi. Green Chef is perfect for me because in preparation for me having to cook for myself one day, my parents usually have me make dinner once a week, which usually ends up being canned soup. So Green Chef is awesome when it comes to introducing me to a bunch of different kinds of meals and ingredients. Now I know every time I want to impress people with my cooking, I can just whip up Green Chef meal. Whether you're an expert chef or a newbie like me, Green Chef has something for everyone. So go to greenchef.com and use my promo code NEVEA60 to get a seriously crazy deal. 60% off your entire order plus free shipping. Guess I should go share some of it with my family now. Alrighty. Corday, ready? I think so. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hold your feet and we'll make the goal 50 seconds. Come on, 10 more. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Last one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what? 52? What? What is happening? It wasn't so bad, was it? I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. <laughs> okay, the next one is probably gonna be a little challenging. You're gonna grab the bar, and you're gonna use your core to lift your legs up and rotate your legs around the bench. Let's, let's just move on. Time for Russian toast. And once again, I've reached my limit. I'm way too tired. I don't know how you're still doing those. Easy as that. <laughs> you got this. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Oh. You want to call it a day? That sounds good. <laughs> What are we doing? We have to do some upper body. We'll start no. easy. We'll start with some 10, ten push-ups. Maybe a pull-up. That's a lot of push-ups. That's not a lot. That is a lot of push-ups. You should yeah. be able to do that. They don't call it an exercise for nothing. Exercise. More like extra fries. And three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I can do push-ups, but yesterday my dad was like, can you do 10 push-ups? And I was like, yeah, I can do 10 push-ups. So I did 10 good push-ups, but now my arms are sore from those 10 push-ups. And now I can't do one push-up. So today, can I just do them on my knees? Fine, we'll make an exception. Nine, 10. <laughs> Seven. This hurts. <laughs> well, that's a great way to start upper body day. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna grab a bar at a comfortable place. <laughs> Short. 
people you'll straighten up. Five different kinds of bars, which one do I grab? Whatever feels comfortable. None of it feels comfortable. <laughs> Short. <laughs> I'm taller than you. By like two inches. It's a significant amount in this family. You, you can start pulling now. <laughs> I'm pulling. <laughs> Gains. Cheating. <laughs> no. <laughs> this time. Nope. All right. Well, now I know what my goal should be. Pull up. One pull up. One pull up. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll get eventually. A couple days ago, they uh, lifted for the first time. We did a bench press, just the bar. That is the bicep curl bar. <laughs> this is the bench press bar. Your feet on the ground. All right. Up. Standard bar. Oh, I can't even do it. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing. You didn't go too well. Hey, I think it went fine. I think I won't work up to it. Sure you <laughs> But today we'll just try bicep curls. That sounds good. Okay, we're just gonna warm up with a 22 pound bar and then we'll add some tens. Yay! <laughs> This week, Kaimani really put me through it. He pushed me and pushed me until I wanted to quit. But I kept going. And then finally... <laughs> you did it! You did the pull up! Even if it doesn't seem like much, and even if it was the worst, ugliest pull up ever done, it was my pull up, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> 